Hi and welcome back to the channel. On this video we're talking about Serbian weddings in Bosnia Herzegovina. A few weeks ago we were invited to a wedding, uh, a member of Tam's extended family in the town of Priador which is not too far away um, from Banja Luka. I've been to Serbian weddings before but I thought uh, it'd be nice to share one part of the whole process um, with you and that is going to the bride's house before she is stolen or I think back in the day bartered for uh, and then goes off to the church to get married and after that the reception. So we went off to uh, Priador, it was early in the morning and we spent about two or three hours there. Lots of singing, lots of dancing. Actually, uh, there's a video which uh, I think there's going to be a tab up there which uh, shows you the uh, trubaci, I think is the way you pronounce it, which are the Romani musicians that turn up. They're absolutely fantastic. Uh, we didn't leave too much in this video because they played for minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes, but you can see that video uh, here if you want to get the full uh, repertoire of what they played.
Uh, she came down absolutely stunning. Uh, the groom arrived uh, with his uh, groomsman and his brother. Uh, back in the day, I think they would have bartered with money or whatever um, to have her. They don't do that today. Uh, but it is sort of like still in the tradition. As I say, lots of dancing, lots of singing, tons and tons of food. I tell you, when we got to the reception, it was death by food all over uh, again. You'll also see uh, in the video men walking around with these round sort of like flasks. They're made of wood. I can't remember the name uh, of what they actually are. I'll put it in the description uh, below, but it is full of rakia and um, it's very ceremonial these days. Uh, they are used, I think, mainly at weddings uh, and christenings as well. I've never seen one at a funeral yet. And there go the cars with their flags all the way, I think 35 to 50 kilometer drive into Banja Luka where we went into the church uh, for the ceremony, then on to this rather wonderfully organized uh, reception, which started with the civil marriage ceremony because in Bosnia Herzegovina, unlike where I come from in the UK, a church wedding isn't official. So if you want to have your religious blessing, whether it's in a Catholic church, a mosque, or in a Serbian Orthodox church, uh, you can do that, but it's the uh, civil ceremony that takes precedent. Hope you enjoyed that, a little bit of culture on this week's video here on An Englishman in the Balkans. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we don't have comments engaged uh, on the channel anymore, and you can see why uh, in the description, but if you want to ask us any questions at all, an Englishman in the Balkans at gmail.com is the way to do it. You most probably can hear the wind now, can't you, over the microphone. So I think it's time to go and we will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.